Hi, this is Dorothy Smith, and I am going to zip through this real fast. It took me uh, about an hour and 10 minutes to do this one sheet. Um, so I zoomed this at like 350. Okay, so this is project two of Celebrate Today. And although it's a one pager, I'm here to tell you that it was not easy. So uh, I am taking out the last of the die cut things from its uh, carrier sheet. And those stars are going to be frames for star shaker windows. So weird, right? And you get to keep all the insides of all these stars um, for whatever. You can sponge them in ink to match something else. Uh, you could do whatever you want to with them, but you'll end up with like four or five stars. So this is getting the cute little heart zip strip. And uh, I was missing a quarter inch raspberry strip to go underneath the hearts. And it just took me a second to realize that I didn't have it. And so I'm looking over through all my stuff up in the corner there and uh, finally give up and just cut a piece. Sometimes it's easier to just cut it than look for it. So there we go. So this just adds a little accent to the uh, under the black strip there to bring out the hot pink. So it's cute. I like it. Although if I didn't find it, I could have just gone with the pink scallop and that would have been fine. So this nice little corner um, goes down in the lower right hand corner. And I have to say I like it because it's got that watercolor look that somehow you splashed water on it look. So the title of this is you are a, You're a Star. And you are. So I am going to, I was going to use Tombow, but I'm just going to use my liquid Tombow and uh, put those letters down with that. Try not to put too much on there so it doesn't eke out from the edges. So I'm going up uh, a little over half an inch from the bottom. Didn't realize I was cutting off the bottom of the sheet here. Um which I have a tendency to do. Sorry about that. I'll blame it on short arms so I can reach. Uh, so I am just adding two pop-ups so the picture can actually go under that banner. And uh, the balloons go there. So that's a balloon sticker. Very cute. And then I'll take, um, there was a whole bunch of pu uh, punch out stars. So they do tone on tone and uh, for several of the stars. So I'm just going to put those down because they're easy to get out of the way. And um, there's a lot more work ahead. Of course, I don't realize that at this time. I'm thinking, I got this, no problem. This will go like a breeze. So like I said, this is tone on tone. So now we got pink on pink. And I like that. So there we go. And then the uh, black, like the prior um, project, project one, that was a single page also had a black background for the picture. So this one is also like that. And actually, if you wanted to make this a, a two-page layout, you know, it goes with the um, first page that I did, Project 1. So this is Project 2. So see, you end up with like five stars. And um, all of these I punched out prior. And I cut, I took the um, <laughs> vellum. I want to call it velour, but that's material. <clears throat> and I made some stars. I think I traced stars and cut them out. So the white frame, star frame, is going to go and become one with the vellum. So that will be the top part of the star that would be, I mean, the shaker window. The vellum will be the, the window for the uh, star shaker. 
So it's a little bit, I wasn't really sure how to, how to do this. So they say to use the anti-static pouch and uh, put that on all the bases, the star bases. And uh, then you'll put it on also on the inside of the vellum um, window. So you don't want you don't want the sequins to stick to the uh, window. They will stick to everything. Um, so now I'm going to uh, use the liquid Tombow onto the star frame and then adhere it to the to the vellum and uh, so that's going to make you know the the top part of the um, window so I'm you know I'm still not quite getting this and it says to use thin the thin foam tape and go around the uh, edge of the star and so that gives you a little bit of depth to put the uh, so that the sequins can flow around in it. And if you remember with the shaker windows, there's a foam ring that um, lifts up the bottom, the base of the shaker. And so the window that goes over it is lifted up a little bit so that you can have some movement of the um, sequins. So I'm using the liquid glass and trying to squish out the extraneous glue uh, onto my scrap pad. And once it kind of dries a little bit, then the thing to do is to, uh, didn't let it dry at all, uh, to cut out, cut away the excess vellum so it looks like a nice clean, crisp window. So that came out, that came out pretty good. And I'm getting kind of excited about this, you know, cause this is going to be fun. I kind of like making shaker windows. Um, I like all of our, the materials that we have to make the round shaker windows. And we're getting more and more thin cuts all the time to decorate around and on top of the shaker windows. So that's kind of cool. We have a nice one that says happy birthday, makes a frame around the shaker window, and then it has a little banner going across the shaker saying happy birthday. So there's a lot of cute things to go with these shaker windows, which I'm assuming is a big deal right now, shaker windows. Shaker windows and spinner cards, they're, they're both a big, a big deal right now. So I kind of continue with this red thing, and it looks like the tape is going to be okay. It looks like it's going to get hid by the hidden by the frame um, of the store. So I just continue along my merry way, adding. And I mean, it seems a little thick to me, but you know, it looked like it was totally covered by the frame. Wrong. So just so you know, so this uh, this is like quarter inch. Uh, wide foam tape and what you really want is about eighth inch wide foam tape you don't want quarter inch it's too it's too thick and you'll see how much it sticks out once I try it try it out again and I, I'm perfectly fine right now thinking oh yeah that's really going to cover it and then I put this there and all sorts of stuff shows through so it's like, dang it. So I start trimming, and then that becomes it becomes a disaster after after a while. Um, so now the thing to do, it's still showing through. So what I'm going to do from here on out is to take my tape and then cut it longwise. So I'm making like eighth inch foam going going around the star. And that works good, except that this foam tape sticks to absolutely everything. So it sticks to my fingers, it sticks to the scissors, it's sticking all over the place. So 
I like that I've speeded this up 350% because it doesn't look so painful. <laughs> it was, it was uh, not easy, not easy to do. I mean, the results are really cute. And you kind of feel proud of yourself for being able to accomplish it. But uh, it was not easy. So, but the using the thinner tape, cutting the tape really made a difference. I didn't have, I really thought I had some eighth inch, some real skinny foam tape uh, hanging around. But as it, see, that works out just great. As it turns out, it was just regular old, old tape on a roll that was that thin. So that didn't help at all because you need to have depth. And here I had an extra uh, craft jar left from my purchase and I'm putting those sequins in there because they're, it just makes them easier to deal with. And I added a little bit of the, um, the uh, anti-static. I kind of went around the inside of the jar to kind of help take some of the static away from the uh, the sequins, but I don't know that it did any good, actually. I think if you kind of poof some of the powder in there, it might help. So I'm just going around piece bit by bit and taking the uh, protective covering off of the foam tape so that the frame can glue, glue down on the, um, I can glue the frame together. So... So there we go. That one came out pretty good. Much better than the pink one. But the pink one in the end looks looks fine. So don't worry about the little pink star. So this ends up being a real cute layout. Now I'm thinking I like the pink stars. I mean, I like the shaker stars. But I think you could probably use just regular shaker windows on, on this and add stars around. Um, I don't know. I mean, it would be easier because you've got all the pieces all ready to go. The uh, round circle of the uh, foam tape that's just, it makes, you know, I didn't appreciate <laughs> how much easier it is to use the uh, pieces than making up your own shaker shape. See, I've got tape going every place all over me. But they are cute. I mean, they are cute. And when you look at this from years to come, you go, oh, wow, look at that. I did that. How did I do that? So you see, they still, they still have a lot of static to them. I mean, you can see them get sucked up onto the, the uh, tweezer. And then they get, they love to get stuck to the tape. The tape just attracts them. So there's another one. See, they really are kind of cute. And this one, it's just like, eh, I kind of have to start all over again with this one. Because it's just, you can see too much of the, of the tape. And it's just making me crazy. Yeah, you see, I'm trying, <laughs> trying to get by with as little as possible here. And then I kind of get it on there, and it's kind of wonky. I still had the most problems with this. In the end, there's still it needed to get trimmed better before I put it down on the page, but... Um, See, I'm pulling it off of the of the frame and kind of making it hang over so then I can trim off the the excess uh, tape. Oof. So I told you that this took me, it was an hour, just about an hour and ten minutes to do this. And I've gotten it down to, what is it, maybe about a 20, a little over 20 minute. Uh, video, but it w it was uh, pretty pretty tedious to go through this whole thing, and so I decided I took it all off the pink star, and I'm making the uh, frame going around the the uh, 
outer edge of the actual star frame, hoping that I'll be able to just set it down on the, on the star. I don't know why I did that instead of just going for the star. Anyway, the light pink one ends up being much better. I think when you put it on the frame, you can actually see that you're staying hidden. Those sequins just kind of, they move all around the place, all on their own. See, I got it, but see, it's all wonky. It's going away. <laughs> Next. Okay, so I like I like this one. This one worked out a little bit better. Um, I did go. Uh, this does make me want to buy some eighth inch tape, though. I have to say, uh, I didn't really think that there would be much of a use for it, but this is definitely um, a use of not having quarter inch to have the the uh, eighth inch. So I will have to go on a search for some eighth inch tape. I don't know that Close to My Heart carries it. It could be. No, never mind. I was going to say it could be a little bit thicker uh, from a height standpoint. But you know what? It doesn't, again, you know, there's plenty of room for the sequins to. Um, flow around uh, under the window, so not a big deal. And I mean, clearly the tape doesn't have to be pretty because nobody's going to see it. And so you just don't want to have any gaps where the sequins can fly out, because they will. So I'm just adding a little bit more of the anti-static in there and trying to keep the sequins under control. Um, impossible task trying to find more stars and I found a whole stack of stars all stuck to each other it's weird and you just have to watch because the sequins want to um, stick to the uh, tape um, and if you do that then you uh, you know you're not getting a good seal with your um, your frame there. Ta-da! See, I think it's easier to do the, the ones that are a little bit bigger rather than the small ones. So by the time I get to number five, I felt like I sort of knew what I was doing. So this is where it really shows you that the more experience you have, the better you get. So see that pink one? It's all wonky. It needed to get. I should have trimmed it and didn't even realize it. And I've raised the picture also with um, my pop-up round dots um, so that the stars, um, part of the stars could fit, the shaker stars could fit underneath. So I'm just trying to figure out where to where to place the shaker so that the foam dot can stick to the base page and not to the um, not to the my shaker star. So it's a cute it's a cute. Now it says you're a star, so it wouldn't be near as fun to have the round shaker windows, right? So you have to have them as stars. So. There we go. Now the yellow one looks really good, and the light pink one looks really good. And I really like that water, that water splashed corner, corner edge there. <clears throat> so almost done here. I hope you like it, and I hope you can, you know, pick up some tips if you're doing any close to my heart layouts. Um, let me know. You know, and if there's anything that you want me to show in a video, let me know that too. And, uh, you know, I'll see what I can research and, and figure out how to do it. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate 
your time uh, to that you take to watch my videos. And uh, hopefully you can learn from me. So you're making your own pages. You can get some ideas and maybe learn from me so that it's not quite so tough on, on you when you're doing it. That's the whole idea. So I don't try to show these to show you that I can do this because you, you see me struggle through. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate you. Bye now.